I kind of just want to go back to bed, but the leopard. So crop. It's a little like fur jacket. I only wear it once in the Hello everybody, my name is Arianne if you didn't know and today I'm finally going to be doing the thing that I've been procrastinating for the past couple months. I'm finally going to be decluttering and cleaning out my closet. I really had to work up the courage to do this because I just know it's going to be so messy going through every single thing I own. Like right now for the first time my room is actually clean and I feel like I'm low-key self-sabotaging because I am willingly choosing to like take out everything so I could clean it up all over again. However, I couldn't ignore it anymore because it is winter and I took out all my sweatshirts from the basement and I also got some PR and got some clothes and we've just reached a point where my clothes no longer fit in my closet. This used to be really neat but now it looks like a cluster up there. This like random envelope here is literally my diploma and I didn't even bother putting it inside of the diploma case. As for my closet, this used to look okay, but as you guys can see, there's this pile of clothes here. They just don't fit anywhere anymore. Like that is not supposed to be there. This is laundry, which I haven't washed because I don't have room to put those clothes in anymore. Don't even get me started with like everything I've hidden in the corners of my closet, like that corner. Okay, so that is my main closet, but we've also got my my dresser, my drawers, more drawers under my bed, and this shelf. Okay, sidebar, I recently watched a new Hunger Games movie with my sister, so if you're wondering who this man is on my nightstand, this is my president, President Snow. If I was Lucy Gray, we would have talked it out. I finally got Emma Chamberlain coffee during Black Friday, so I finally tried her cold brew. This has been in the fridge for like three days, so I don't even know if it's like edible still. Okay, made a coffee because ain't no way I'm cleaning my entire room without a single drop of coffee. Okay, we're gonna move my purses. What the? Wait, why is there a packet of tuna behind this? Because this is blocking the way. I never really fully opened this drawer. I forgot I even owned this. This is the part I hate about cleaning out your closet where you just try everything on and it's just so tiring. I feel like this color will look better on my boyfriend than it does on me, so I'm just gonna give this to him. I have this windbreaker. It literally has my name stitched on it, which feels really cool, but this is from my sorority days. I literally dropped out of my sorority after like one semester and legally I am banned from wearing anything with like their name on it. So I don't even know why I still have this. I feel like this sweater actually looks good on me, but I just wore it so many times already. I'm ready to part with it. Ooh, this is kind of a nice color actually. Okay, this color is really cute, but it fits so awkward. It's like a sweater, but it's cropped and the arms are way too short on me. Like. Okay, I forgot I owned this because it was in the very back, but we're gonna keep this. Also, look, look at the back. I forgot I owned this, and now that I remember how cute it looks, I'm gonna be wearing this again. It's giving Danish pastel sweater. Okay, so these are all the sweaters I'm getting rid of. I ended up freeing up this whole row of space, so I'm gonna grab the things from my closet and put it in there. Which ones are the sweaters I'm keeping? I tried to thrift this hat and it doesn't even fit my head. Like, it looks so bad. I feel like it would have been so cute though if it did fit my head. Goodbye. Steve Jobs. Okay, on to the next. We're doing my dresser. Honestly, I kind of just want to go back to bed, but we've already started filming, so let's finish. I'm actually very proud of my dresser because I have kept this baby pretty clean and pretty organized throughout the years. Let me show you. These are all my tops, pajamas, and workout clothes. All my t-shirts and all my leggings. And these are all of my bottoms. So because I've kept my dresser pretty clean, I feel like this will be the easiest one because you could literally see all my tops, all my clothes, and you just gotta like take out what you don't want anymore. The only thing is I'm trying to tell myself to just get rid of the clothes I'm not gonna wear. I am like such a hoarder, but I keep telling myself that there's gonna be a very specific occasion that I'm gonna need that top for, and that's why I don't throw it out. For example, I have this leopard tube top from like middle school, and I refuse to throw this out. I keep saying, what if somebody invites me to an animal print 
party. Like, this is the perfect top for it. But what are the chances of me going to an animal print party? Close to zero. I really should just get rid of this. But it's like so hard because what if they do invite me to an animal print party? <laughs> t-shirt is literally like makeup stained over here so I don't know why I kept this. I'm no longer at that point in my life where I'm gonna wear a top this short. Taking a break right now because yeah. Hey guys. So after getting distracted for like three hours, it is now 4.50. I made plans to go ice skating at like 6.45, so that is what's motivating me to continue cleaning. So I'm gonna play party music because this is the only thing that gets me going when I've run out of motivation. Okay, so I have like 30 minutes before I'm going ice skating. A very impulsive decision. So we're gonna do my closet, but given that I only have 30 minutes, I'm definitely not gonna finish it. So we're just gonna see where we end up and I will probably finish it when I get home. Guys, my tripod is like falling apart. I should have asked for a new one for Christmas. Red fuzzy coat my friend gave me. Honestly, I still think this is a sleigh. I should have worn it actually when I went to the city. Trench coat. I feel like this is also a winter sleigh, so we're keeping this. So I thrifted this like little autumn cardigan. This is from when like the granny aesthetic was trending and you know what, Janelle was right. I only wore it once and then I never wore it again. She's pretty cute, I just don't see myself wearing it. Actually, you know what, I've convinced myself I could wear this with a red slash brown tank top. That would look really cute. Not donating this today. Let's see next year if I've actually worn it. Party dress is here. I've each only worn these one time, but I paid a lot of money for them, so I'm definitely not donating this. This little like fur jacket, we're definitely keeping. Honestly, I should wear this more often. Mm -mm. We're not keeping this. I've sorted through all my clothes on this side. So I'm just gonna refold everything in the middle and then I'm gonna leave and then we'll finish the rest of it later tonight. Okay, BRB, gonna go ice skating. I've got my gloves, my little bag. I put a bow on it because coquette. Welcome to day two. So after ice skating the other day, I just had like no motivation to keep cleaning. So we're gonna finish up today. I don't have much left. I only have like, actually it's still like a good amount left. Let me just show you. She's looking better. Like everything in the middle is sorted out. We really just have to fix everything on top and everything on the bottom sides. It doesn't look like a lot, but like the closet actually stretches out all the way to like probably over here and then another arm length over here. The door is just really small. <laughs> Honestly, these are all just like stuffed animals. We've got Jupiter, Spam. We've got, I actually don't remember what I named you, buddy. I'm so sorry. This tiny like Squishmallow. Wait, I have like Milo chocolate energy drinks in here. I'm putting this in the fridge. Why is this, why is this in this box? What the heck? Filipino chocolate pudding. This like giant box of matcha. So I'm gonna take this out as well because like why am I gatekeeping this in my room? Like I'm gonna go put that downstairs. Oh, we've narrowed it down. Okay, I found my old planner from 2020 to 2021. Oh my god, I forgot I used to take Korean classes. I don't remember taking Korean classes. Oh, because I dropped out of it. <laughs> I used to take Korean classes for college, but then I remember the pace was like way too fast for me. I didn't even memorize the alphabet yet and we were already reading stuff. So I dropped out of it and I retook Japanese, which I already took in high school. 
so that was like much easier for me see i have a bunch of planners but i refuse to throw them out because just seeing what i was doing on a certain day august 2020 on a friday i was editing a new york city video and ordering my textbooks on chegg and amazon yeah like i just like seeing what i did and i feel like it's really cool to see specifically what i was up to on each day so i refuse to throw out all my planners i just have like a thick stack <laughs> I finished this section. It's a lot less messy. What is this called, Janelle? Oh, this is an Udi that Kathleen gave me. And honestly, when it's super cold in the dead of winter, it's very useful. I put my grad cap and gown in here. Those are just like bleach wipes. This is just like a random basket of stuff, painting supplies, and then like my Etsy girl store seller stuff. So I have filled this up. I'm gonna throw this away. Okay, y'all, I'm finally done. Honestly, I thought I would get rid of more than this, but I guess not. This is for donations and this I'm gonna be giving to my aunt because she's moving here and she doesn't have any like winter clothing so <gasps> this is probably the biggest bag. This is the garbage bag. I'm just gonna get rid of all of this and it's pretty heavy actually. Okay that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and this inspired you to declutter as well. My room definitely feels lighter and I do have more storage so that is always great. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!